in a humble village in ancient Israel, right after a hard day's ministry. The Lord Jesus sat in a home with his disciples gathered around him like eager children at story time. They leaned in, their eyes bright with curiosity, as one of them asked Jesus, Why do you teach the people in parables? The disciples' voice carrying the weight of their confusion and curiosity. After a few brief moments of silence, Jesus replied, To you, my chosen disciples, who have already committed to follow me, God the Father has given the ability to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, I don't talk to you in parables, but to those who are still outside of the kingdom of God, I speak in parables, because God has not granted them the ability to naturally understand or have insight into these things. The people of Israel have become so used to hearing the laws of God that their hearts have become closed and unreceptive to the things of God. Therefore, to help them, I use parables as a tool to facilitate their understanding and connection with the deeper and profound aspects of the kingdom of God. Jesus paused a few moments, allowing his statement to sink deep into the disciples' hearts. Then he continued, but there's more. Those who already have opened their hearts to understand and perceive, even more understanding and revelation are given them by God. But to those who've stubbornly closed their hearts to my words, even the little I've taught them will be taken away from them. The disciples nodded, their understanding deepening with each word. As the sun dipped below the horizon and the shadows lengthened, the Lord Jesus spoke to his disciples about the prophets and righteous men of old who longed to witness what they now beheld, namely, the secrets of the kingdom which are continually being unveiled before their very eyes and in their very ears. With his voice soft yet filled with conviction, he declared, Your eyes and ears are very fortunate to see and hear these revelations. Many in times past have yearned for these revelations, but it has been reserved by God himself for you at this time. In the days that followed, Jesus continued to teach the crowds in parables, weaving stories of seeds and farmers, lost sheep and prodigal sons. Each tale held a deeper meaning, a glimpse into the mysteries of the kingdom of God intended to open the spiritual eyes and ears of the willing. And though some listened with open hearts and minds, others remained blind and deaf to his message, their souls untouched by the deep truths he offered. But for those who sought understanding, who hungered for the light of revelation, Jesus' parables illuminated the way to everlasting life, guiding them to be reconciled with God.